Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kiaren. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. So I don't want to make this intro long, but today I did my everyday makeup routine. Obviously, we're all in quarantine right now. So if we're doing our makeup, it's to either take photos or to just do your makeup to sit on the couch. So that's what I did is pretty much I'm going to go sit on the couch after this. I'm not going anywhere. Did my everyday kind of glowy-ish makeup. Um, this is what I would do if I wanted to if I was in school, if I wanted to put effort in, or if it was a school day, if I wanted to put effort in, or if this is just, I don't know, just an everyday makeup look. I love how it still has like a little bit of a pop with the eyes, lashes, and a little bit of the inner corner glow from my highlight and on my nose. And yeah, so this is just my everyday look. If you want to achieve this look or see what I use to achieve this look, stay tuned. Okay, so we're starting out fresh face and I have all of my makeup in my little box and I just go in with my Fenty Beauty foundation. I like to kind of just spot it on there only because, I don't know, I just like the batter and I think it's just a part of my routine that I've just done. And recently I became a Revlon brand ambassador so they put me on their PR list and gave me this super nice glowy foundation. And I found that mixing that with my Fenty Beauty foundation really just enhances the glow for my base. And I literally love it. I thank Revlon for sending it to me because probably if they didn't, I wouldn't find out about this product. And I definitely recommend it to everyone because it's super lightweight. Even if you don't want to put the Fenty with it, it's a really good mix. And I really enjoy putting it on my face for an extra boost of glow. Next thing is my eyebrows. Um, I recently got my eyebrows laminated and the lamination kind of wore off, but it's kind of still there-ish. So I just go in and fill it in. I'm definitely a huge fan of the big, bushy, crazy eyebrow look. I love it. I feel like it matches my face perfectly and I don't know, I just really like the look of it. So I go in, fill it in a little bit where I see fit. Obviously you can see I don't have my eyebrows done underneath, so I kind of just go with the grain and just see what looks right it takes a lot of brushing and looking and perfecting but i i kind of get it to where i want most of the time but sometimes it's really just hit or miss and then i go in with my concealer go underneath kind of carve it out make it perfect where the little hairs are that have grown in i try and cover those up and make it as perfect as possible So eyeshadow isn't really an everyday thing that I do, but I definitely do like the look of the natural just brown base on my eyes because it kind of brings life to the top of my lids. If they tend to be a little darker, puffy, or have a little bit of discoloration, putting that little brown shade tends to just even out and make sure everything is kind of looking the same and looking alive and looking bright. So, oh see, I'm going in to fix my eyebrows again, trying to make them as perfect as possible. But yeah, that nice brown shade that I'm putting on definitely enhances my eyes and gives like a good pop and now literally begins my favorite part ever I feel like if someone were to ask me what's the one makeup product that I would use if I was only able to use one and it would be concealer I literally feel like it brings my face to a whole nother level just brightening it and just giving it life and just everything i literally love it i just oh if i could literally only use concealer for the rest of my life i would because i feel like it just it's just a pop like when i don't get sleep boom concealer when i do get sleep boom concealer i just i love it so i'm just mixing two concealers i'm mixing my la girl pro concealer i believe it's called in the lighter shade and my nars concealer mixing those two together to give me the perfect amount of coverage that i like and yeah just blend did it in dab 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 with my huge beauty blender i got it from target it's like the knockoff beauty blender but i like it better than the real beauty blender
And then of course, set that with some translucent powder. I use the powder from Laura Mercier in the dark shade. I love it. I feel like it's great for my skin tone and it just kind of sets in that under eye. So contouring has been like my new thing. I literally love to contour my nose, not necessarily my cheeks as much, but contouring my nose and kind of carving out a nice like snatch shape I love. So I go in with my Bobbi Brown foundation stick and a little brush and just kind of snatch that nose up. And I'm not a professional, it's still learning. I feel like my contour comes out different every time I do it, but yeah, it's definitely my favorite step because I don't know, I like a nice little snatch nose, so yeah. Still learning though, for sure. Because my face is super greasy and oily, just I feel like on GP, I like to go in with my Makeup Forever all white translucent powder and you would think like all white, oh my gosh, am I gonna look ashy or whatever, but it's really just depends on the amount that you put on. Don't put on a lot at all, just the places on your face that you see are still have a little bit of extra shine that you don't want. Just kind of dust that powder over and it'll take it right off and it lasts a pretty long time too. And again, going back in with the brows, trying to get them right. You know, I feel like since they're not done, I just, I feel like the more they're not done, I just struggle so much to get that perfect shape because it's kind of like creating your own shape. But I don't know, concealer's just kind of helping me out until we get out of this quarantine and I can go get my brows done again. Then add some mascara on my lashes, just a thin coat before I put my falsies on and highlight literally i probably wear nose highlight every single day of my life when i have makeup on i think it just wraps my whole look together and i just love it so i put it on the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose and the cupid's bow of my lips and i literally just tried this the other day putting it in the little tear ducts of my eyes i don't know how i feel about it but i just tried it and i kind of I don't know, it was cool trying something new with my makeup. I wasn't going anywhere, so it was okay if it didn't look right, but I kind of liked it. And the final step is lip gloss. I had my Too Faced lip injection that I just got. Uh, I give it like a seven out of 10, it's okay. But I literally like my lips to look like I dip them in chicken grease. So you can see me applying a whole bunch of layers until I got the look that I was going for. So yeah, that's really what wraps up my look is a good old lip gloss to finish it all up. See you lovely people in my next video. Bye.